you want to take an existing belt from your husband, your son, your father, yourself, whomever. You want to lay it down on a table and you want to lay the tape measure next to the belt. And we're going to measure that belt from the tip of the buckle, the farthest point out, not where the leather meets the buckle, but the farthest point out. And we're going to measure all the way over to the hole that the person uses the most. Now for argument's sake, on this brand new needlepoint belt that just came into the shop, I'm gonna use the middle hole on this one. You can see the middle hole on this belt lines up at a 38. So this belt is a 38 inch belt. If this was an existing belt of someone's, then we would know that that 38 inches is the size the belt needs to be made to. If, let's say, the hole that the person uses the most is the very first hole, then for this hole, this belt, we would know that we need to tell the finisher it needs to be a 36. And that 36 will be the middle hole on the finished belt. This particular belt we can see is, like I said, it's a size 38. It'll size all the way down to a 36, and it'll size all the way up to a size 40 for this particular individual. That is the correct way to measure an existing belt. It's the only way to measure for needlepoint belts. You do not want to go with whatever number is stamped on the back of an existing belt. That is not an accurate size.